Hello and welcome to this preparational step video where we talk about installing QGIS. For those of you who have not installed um, QGIS recently, just visit QGIS.org and you will be represent or presented this um, splash screen where we have the option to download QGIS and to support QGIS with some donations. Donate if you can, if not, that's fine for as well. So we have two versions, 3.14, which is the current and latest build version with, the, with the enriched features, new functionalities and so on. But it's still not that, how to say, um, stable. And then there's a long-term release version. Long-term release version is uh, especially meant for people who would like, not like to have uh, all the new cool features but would like to have a stable um, build on their system that it's production ready that offers compatibility um, with all the plugins that are developed and uh, also received the bug fixes and stuff like that so if you're unsure go with the LTR and you will be fine just click on download now you have the different versions for Windows macOS, Linux, and so on. There's the QGIS standalone installer version 3.10. There are also those more sophisticated installers, but they are also a little bit more complicated. So if you are an advanced user, you can try those as well. I would always go with 64-bit, but for the, for our course, this will be the installer QGIS standalone installer version 3.10. Just open this one or download this one. I've done so up front. Go to downloads. There's the installer. Double click on it. Yes, I would like to install this one. And now there's the wizard. And it is quite simple. You agree to the terms or the license agreement. I always choose the default path for installing. We are just interested for the moment with the QGIS itself, not with the additional data sets. Install it now. This takes some time. I'm working here with a virtual machine uh, with two cores and a Windows 10 operating system. So, installation has somehow finished. We click on finish. Now you have a new item in your, in your um, toolbar. Unfortunately, the Qt design and the Zaga GIS and the setup uh, options from QGIS are here as recently added, but we will have a look here. So there's the entry for QGIS 3.10. There are a lot of different tools in there, but we will go with this QGIS desktop with Grass 7. A 7. I'm sorry for the German term. Um, Grass is offers some additional functionalities for your QGIS environment, and so I always recommend to use it with Grass. Just to click on it. Yeah, let's get started. Now setting up the GUI, starting Python, the added plugins. Some plugins are shipped alongside with QGIS 3.10. And there we are. We have a valid new untitled project here. And we can just work with it as you might see in the following tutorials. Thanks again for watching. Take care and goodbye.